Um, on FD, I do not approve of this stage choice at all. Fendrick Lamar is super good at finding grabs. He's got a really solid punish game. Uh, and we're seeing that come out already. We've gotten three punishes. This one's leading into a heavy chain grab. He gets the connection into the up tilt, and instead of going for the up air uh, bridge, he just goes for the fort smash. Gives Tubby a chance to recover. Tubby wins uh, wins the neutral there. Gets a 30%. Fender wisely fades back to the ledge. Uh, so it, it, earlier when uh, Fender dro dropped that chain grab, what he should have done there was make the transition into the up air parts of the chain grab, uh, and that just attack on another 10, 12% or so. And it would have been a better time to, to opt for the forward smash. More guaranteed kill. Uh, as it is, he ended up taking over uh, over 70% um, from a failure to close it out. Uh, still in the lead. Uh, it's not the, not the end of the world, but against a better player, you don't ever want to give them the opportunity to, you know, come back in neutral again. Risky down air going out there for Tubby. And I think either that was a nervous side B. I'll give him a little bit of credit there. Trying to keep him out with lasers. Uh, it's working for the time being. I know Fender Glamar has good power shields, so we'll have to see if they come out. Tubby manages to close that out. Only 73% on him. He's out of crouch cancel percent. He's got to try to rack up a little bit more damage on Fendi before losing this stock. Unfortunately, missed that edge garden. I think I would have liked to see a forward smash at that point. Oh! Good, good recovery. Uh, Tubby didn't really do anything to try and stop him, but hate to see that happen. Uh, I'm sure Fendrick doesn't, but still not something that's great one way or the other. Looks like Tubby is just doing a good job trying to keep him out with lasers. There's the power shield, though. Unfortunately, Fendrick not able to chain it together. Another power shield. I think he's finally caught on to the timing. Toby tries reading that with a dash attack in. Uh, you, you'll see that a lot of times, especially if you try down airing a character when they're near the ledge. Uh, the, the natural reaction is going to be to DI towards the center of the stage. And as a result, newer players are going to hit that tech and just subconsciously hold in as they're doing so. And so you'll see a lot of Falcos, not even just Falcos, a lot of players just aim for that center stage read. Tubby tried doing it with the dash attack, ultimately not the best idea. Fendrick was a couple steps ahead of him. Um, that read really only covers one option, and you have many in that position, so something to be aware of. Meanwhile, as I'm giving you that diatribe, uh, Tubby has brought this back very, very well. He had a quick combo in there, Fendrick had an early death, and misses that forward smash. That may come back to haunt him. Manages to stay alive with excellent DI. Tournament winner almost cost him, but Tubby was not ready to punish him. Forward air. Goes for the down tilt, but wasn't close enough to the ledge to make it count. Tubby jumps for the laser. Now that's two SDs this game, and I ha you have to think, if it wasn't for those, this game may be looking a lot different than a lot differently than it is. But uh, you know, as it is, Tubby's given Fendrick Fender the lead more times than he should. He's doing a good job just locking him down with lasers, but Fender not doing a great job power shielding. We'll have to see if he's managing to adapt a little better. Tries coming in with pressure, and I think that uh, falling dare after the double jump was not the safest. Uh, Fender could have cut that off just about anything. Tubby would have been in a real tough spot. It's the chain grab. Up tilt, forward smash, that was okay. Again, could have changed it, chained it back together. Uh, however, Fendrick this time manages to pull the edge guard out. So we're going to be going into a second game. Uh, not a huge fan of the FD stage choice, but Tubby manages to make it work pretty well. Uh, Fendrick. So we'll see what the stage counter pick goes. I would imagine the ban is going to be Dreamland. Um, Pokemon Stadium, about a 50-50 counter pick, I would think. I really like this stage as Falco. But I know people also really like this stage as Marth. So, really, it could go either way. Kind of 
kind of gives up stage control there. I'm not I'm not super happy with Tubby's decision to do that. Excellent re-grab on the wave land up, though. Power shields that get up attack. Unfortunately, not able to convert, but that, that, was, that was a really sick sequence. Couple of down airs. Misses the forward smash, which is okay. It was safe. Um... I think that was a good angle by Tubby, but given the fact that the Uppy has no hitbox, Thunder was perfectly safe to go up there and get him. Uh, I'm not really sure why he didn't. Maybe he just didn't react to it in time. Who knows? As it is, Tubby manages to get that first kill. Tries reading something, just running through with the forward smash. I don't agree with the decision, but it's a little late for that already. Goes for the forward smash. I gotta say, Tubby's doing a great job keeping Fender Lamar at the ledge and not getting too close to, uh, to get grabbed. Um, he's doing an outstanding job of that so far. Gets him with an air, knocks him off stage, takes the ledge, and unfortunately, tournament winners. I, I have to think that, that was a mistake. That's probably what he was looking for the first time. Tubby's got a full stock lead. This is this is actually looking really well for him. Uh, really good for him. Good power shield. Unfortunately, misses the grab after. Another one of these Waveland grabs. Fendrika, that's the second one he's gotten so far. Uh, and again, not really able to convert off of them with a chain grab opportunity. But the fact that he's getting those really sick setups at such a low percent it says quite a bit. Misses that back air, able to get back to the stage, which is okay, and then kind of blows all of that on a forward smash. I gotta be thinking Thunder's a little bit nervous here. Up tilt kills. Uh, I think that was just terrible bad DI from Tubby. Oh, catches him with the laser way off stage. Uh, we got a full stock lead from Tubby. He is taking the momentum that he had minus the SDs from the first game and really running away with them. Standing laser, unfortunately, Fender not in a position to finish. That's usually not a great sign. Tries going for the tipper. That was ambitious. He ends up only eating a down air. Not the end of the world. Uh, could have been much worse. And really, in the position Fender's at, you can't really be doing that. Knocks him off stage, gets him with the down tilt, and we're looking at a last stock situation. Fendrick's in an okay position, and edge guard here will be killer. Good jab reset. It's gonna, yep, goes for the tech chase on the tree, and I think that forward air really was not the wisest decision. Um, I think he was trying to read an up B maybe, but that was questionable. Gets him off stage again, jab. Up B, excellent clutch uh, play from Fendrick. That was, that was, that was way closer than it needed to be. Shout out to Fendi, Dan. That was a good comeback. That was that was.